Good evening, Vikings. This was homecoming week and we celebrated our blue and gold pride with our Viking family. Homecoming is a time to be shared with our alumni, our parents, and all of our students and friends. To recap on our successful week, I wanted to share the activities we had each day. On Making Memories Monday, we started the week with a class banner competition and an amazing performance by the homecoming court. On Victory Dance Tuesday, each class showed off their cool dance moves by competing in the class dance competition. On Show Your Spirit Wednesday, students from each class participated in our mini Olympic games from an obstacle course, traffic safety drug buster go-kart race, and a funny hamster ball soccer game. On Viking Family Thursday, instead of students, each class selected members of our Viking staff who competed in multiple competitions including a Kahoot game, TikTok dance, and the singing of the alma mater. And today, our last day of homecoming week, we are celebrating Blue and Gold Friday. I want to thank all of you for participating in our homecoming festivities and working hard to make this a successful week. Tonight is our grand finale and we will be honoring and recognizing many of our outstanding Viking students, teachers, and alumni. Please enjoy this presentation honoring them. Hi, my name is Bracia. And my name is Tammy. We will be listing each individual in order of their graduating year. Let's begin. Tom Goya. Tom Goya graduated from Hilo High in 1961. He continues to stay involved with our school community by being a member of the Hilo High Foundation Board of Directors and has been the Kiwanis Advisor for the Hilo High School Key Club since 1985. Big Island Candies. Alan Ikawa graduated in the class of 1967, Irma Ikawa in the class of 1965, and Sherry Holly in the class of 1985. Alan and Irma Ikawa founded Big Island Candies in 1977. What once was a small warehouse is now a giant factory and store that is one of Hilo's top attractions for visitors. Their gourmet treats are even ordered by many and shipped all over the world. Sherry Holly is a Chief Operating Officer and is also a proud Hilo High School alumnus. The Ikawas have shown that although Hilo is a small town, they are a strong competitor in the global market. Janice Crowell. Janice Crowell, a graduate of the class of 1977 and current English teacher at Hilo High, is an award-winning published author and professional journalist. Her awards include the Hawaii Book Publishers Award for Children's Literature, and Society of Professional Journalists Award for Excellence in Industry and Trade Reporting. Her published books include a book on container gardening in Hawaii and two children's books published by the Bishop Museum, Pulalehua and Mamaki, and Kili and the Singing Tree Snails. Darren Rosario. Darren Rosario graduated from Hilo High School in 1985. In 2011, he was appointed as the Fire Chief of the Hawaii Fire Department after 21 years of service. Don Tillery. Don Tillery, one of our school's counselors and alumnus from the class of 1979, came in second place for her age group in the 2019 Volcano Ohia Lehua 5K race. Esther Kanehailua. Esther Kanehailua graduated in 1986. She started her teaching career in the fall of 1990. She student taught at Hilo High and then was hired by HHS principal Donna Saiki in January 1991. Currently, Mrs. Kanehailua serves as the Hilo Ikea Complex Area Superintendent. Ann Chung. Ann Chung is a graduate from the class of 1987. During her career as a Hawaii Community College Associate Professor, she won the 2017 Western Business Education Association Outstanding Post-Secondary Business Educator Award, recognizing her for innovation and leadership in business education at Hawaii Community College. She has also started her own blog called Living Hilo Style. Melanie Arakaki. Melanie Arakaki graduated from Hilo High in 1989. Some of the awards she has won throughout her accomplished career as a physician is the Hawaii Academy of Family Physicians Preceptor of the Year Award. John A. Burns School of Medicine, Department of Family Medicine Preceptor of the Year Award. And Leonard To Humanism in Medicine Award. Megan Mant, our art teacher and yearbook advisor, made and installed a ceramic tile mural in Kailua on Oahu. 
Mrs. Mant graduated from Kalahail High School in 1989. But as our saying goes, once a Viking, always a Viking. Kai Ali'ikahele. Congressman Kai Ali'ikahele graduated from Hilo High, class of 1992. He graduated with his BA from UH Manoa in 1998 and currently serves as a Lieutenant Colonel in the Hawaii Air National Guard. Last November, Kai Ali'i was elected to represent us as our U.S. Representative and for Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District. Wayne Fanning Wayne Fanning, a graduate of 1993, is currently teaching band and orchestra at Neo Valley Middle School in Oahu. His students became the only middle school band in Hawaii to perform at both Carnegie Hall in 2017 and the Sydney Opera House in 2019. During his time at Hilo High, he performed in the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade in 1992. Don Palmerston Don Palmerston graduated from Hilo High in 1994. She went on to earn two bachelor degrees in elementary education and sociology from UH Hilo. After obtaining her elementary teaching certificate, Dawn also received her master's degree in education curriculum and instruction from Grand Canyon University. Dawn is currently a student services coordinator at Kamana Elementary and plans to become a principal in the future. Ryan Domingo. Ryan Domingo graduated in 1994. He serves our community as a police officer and won the Officer of the Year Award in 2012. Mark Yamanaka. A graduate of the class of 1998, Mark Yamanaka has become an accomplished musician. He has received 14 Na Hoku Hanohano Awards in various categories, including highest honors in Hawaiian music for various categories in 2011, 2014, and 2019. Heather Iona. Heather Iona graduated in the class of 1999. She currently teaches at Hilo High. Malika Dudley. Malika Dudley is one of our many outstanding alumni. She graduated from Hilo High in the class of 2000. On her long list of achievements, she's won Miss Hawaii, became an elementary school French teacher, and a meteorologist for KGMB9, Hawaii News Now, Maui Now, Big Island Now, and currently for KITV4. She is completing her master's degree and working on her podcast that focuses on the beautification of communication. Her vision is to solve communication issues that we struggle with throughout our lives. Christopher Todd. Christopher Todd graduated in the class of 2006 and currently serves Hilo in the state of Hawaii House of Representatives for District 2. Christopher is also an assistant coach for our football team. Angela Fujii. Angela Fujii, a graduate of the class of 2007, won the Outstanding Contributions to Social Justice Award at Willamette University. Luke Eclipse Uhano. Luke graduated in the class of 2011. He currently serves as the K-Vikes TV advisor and technology coordinator. Luke started working in the Department of Education months after he graduated and has been working in our technology department since 2013. Sean Mori. Sean Mori graduated from Hilo High in 2015 and graduated from Hawaii Community College Practical Nursing Program in August 2020. She currently serves our community, working full-time at a doctor's office as the head nurse. Jessica Valdez. Jessica Valdez, a graduate of the class of 2017, is currently interning for Congressman Kaili'i Kahele and graduated in December from UH Hilo in psychology, philosophy, and pre-law. While at Hilo High, she served as the Student Association President and was selected to participate in the U.S. Senate Youth Program. Catherine Fujimoto Young. Catherine Fujimoto Young, a graduate of class of 2018, received dual associate degrees with highest honors in art and science DTA and applied science transfer in criminal justice. She is currently working on her bachelor's degree. Trinity Wong. Trinity Wong, a graduate of the class of 2019, is currently studying oceanography and finishing her associate's degree in liberal arts. She is planning to continue her education and earn a master's degree in oceanography. Bodie Whitmore. Bodie Whitmore, an alumnus of class of 2020, currently works at Target. Cassidy DeMatos. Cassidy DeMatos, 
one of the valedictorians from the class of 2020, attends the University of Hawaii at Hilo and is a member of the UH Vulcans tennis team. Kaylee Hanley. Kaylee Hanley is a Hilo High School alumnus of the graduating class of 2020. She currently attends the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Mika Polin. Mika, a graduate of the class of 2020, is currently studying biology abroad in Germany. Tayden Choi Ka'apuni. Tayden, an alumnus of class of 2020, accomplished goal of skydiving. Jade Rivera. Jade, an alumnus of the class of 2020, is planning to study towards a bachelor degree in landscape architecture at the University of Oregon, and she also plays in the Ducks Marching Band. Sara Iseri. Sara Iseri, an alumnus of the class of 2020, also went skydiving. He said, it was the best moment of my life. Ion Iris Kaneko. Iris is a senior in the class of 2021. She is currently studying through distance learning from Taiwan. Iris currently serves as the HHS band president, is a member of the Hilo County Band, and was the French horn soloist in the 2020 East Hawaii Honor Band. Kami Wong. Kami Wong, a member of the class of 2021, was a finalist in the Onalicious Cooking Contest. She competed with other students to create an original recipe and cooking video. During the finals, contestants cooked their dish live in front of the judges and an audience via Zoom. Kami is also a member of our Taiko Club and performs at many community events. Ed Yichi. Ed Yichi, a senior, was selected for the highly competitive Quest Bridge Full Ride Four-Year Scholarship. He will be attending Columbia University in New York. Evelyn Colley. Evelyn Colley, a member of the senior class, won Best Japanese in a video competition promoting wearing masks to Japanese tourists. Gianna Yokoi. Gianna Yokoi, a senior, won first place in the girls' division of the HHSAA 2019 Air Riflery State Tournament. Isabel Masuyama. Isabel Masuyama, a member of the class of 2021, won first place in the popular vote of the Onalicious Cooking Contest. She is also an outstanding member of our school band. Masila Siwa. Masila Siwa, a senior in the class of 2021 and the senior class homecoming escort. He recently signed a letter to commit to Valley State University for a scholarship to play football. He is majoring in kinesiology and minoring in music. Jerry Alalagi. Jury, a member of Class of 2021, serves as her class's treasurer and was a charter member of our new Hilo High School Student Credit Union, located in our Learning Resource Center. She is a teller for the credit union and currently works at the Hilo branch, as the student credit union is closed due to the pandemic. Raven Domingo. Raven, our homecoming queen and senior in the Class of 2021, won the 50 free BIIF championship during the 2019 to 2020 swimming season. Shui Win. Shui Win, a current Hilo High senior, is one of our most accomplished students. During her high school career, she won third place in plant sciences at the International Science Fair, placed first place overall in the East Hawaii District Science Fair, and has been selected as a National Merit Scholarship semifinalist and is a candidate for the 2021 U.S. Presidential Scholar Program. She also serves on the Hawaii First Youth Commission and is an intern for Senator Brian Schatz. Mikaili Palmerston. Mikaili is the president of the class of 2022. She has been an active member of the Key Club since her freshman year and currently serves as the historian. She earned the Platinum Award, Key Club's highest member recognition award for volunteering for over 175 hours of community service this Key Club year. Jubilee Amina. Jubilee Amina, a class of 2022 junior, won fourth place at Wrestling Biffs last year. Maya Oishi. Maya Oishi, a member of the class of 2022, serves as the Lieutenant Governor for Key Club's Division 22 Makai. She oversees and leads 10 clubs on the islands of Hawaii, Maui, and Kauai. She also won third place at the East Hawaii District Science Fair and third place in Translational Medicinal Sciences at the Hawaii State Science Fair. 
Wow, that was a fantastic presentation honoring our current and former Vikings. We are so proud of each of you for achieving big things and representing yourself and our school well. I know you are waiting to learn who the winners were for the many competitions held this week. Drum roll, please. The banner competition was held on Monday and the banners are hung on the fence in front of the school. In fourth place, junior class. In third place, senior class. In second place, freshman class. And in first place, sophomore class. Awesome job to all the classes for beautiful banners and wonderful speeches. On Tuesday, the classes competed in a dance competition and the winners are, in third place, freshmen. Tied for second place, seniors and juniors. And in first place, sophomores. Wow, what great performances. Good job to all classes. On Wednesday, we showed our Viking pride by participating in Show Your Spirit Wednesday, Mini Olympics. The first game was an obstacle course where students ran to the first station and bounced ping pong balls into paper cups, then ran to the next station with an egg on a spoon, then hopped to finish the race in a burlap potato sack. The winners are, tied for third place were sophomores and junior classes. In second place was the freshman class, and the mighty seniors won first place. The second game was a drug buster go-karts. Students had to compete and go around the gym, following the orange cones. If you watched on Wednesday, many students hit the cones because they were wearing drug buster goggles, which reflected their poor visions, and we hope all of you will be safe drivers. No alcohol, no drugs, and no texting. Tied for third place were the sophomores and the junior classes. In second place was the senior class. And in first place, during their first homecoming, the freshman class. The last game of this great mini Olympics was a fun-filled hamster ball soccer tournament. It was great seeing people rolling around the floor. Tied for third place were sophomore and junior classes. In second place was the freshman class. And the mighty seniors won first place. On Thursday, the competition took a twist because each class had to find a group of Viking staff members to compete in three competitions. The first competition was a Kahoot game. In fourth place was the junior class. In third place was the freshman class. In second place was the senior class. And in first place by an overwhelming winning score was the sophomore class. The second competition was a fun TikTok dance that showed off our Viking staff members' moves. In fourth place was the class of 2022. In third place was the class of 2021. In second place was the class of 2023. And in first place was the class of 2024. The last competition was the singing of the alma mater. In fourth place was the class of 2022 juniors. In third place was the class of 2023 sophomores. In second place was the class of 2021 seniors. And in first place was the class of 2024 freshmen. Wow, the competition was tough. The judges were challenged by the good job that all the classes did as they executed everything from the banner to the singing of the alma mater. And now we have Ms. Urasaki to present the title of the Homecoming Week overall winner to the class who earned the highest point total. Ms. Urasaki? Wait, is this correct? For the first time ever in the history of Hilo High Homecoming, we have a tie for the overall winners. Maybe we should have the head advisors come on up and participate in a hamster ball soccer game to decide the winner. No, I guess not. So this year, the year of 2020-2021, we have a tie for the overall winner for homecoming, celebrating blue and gold. The winners are the class of 2024, freshman class, and the class of 2021, the mighty seniors. Your classes will forever be engraved upon the Viking sword, joining the other classes who were honored throughout the years. Congratulations to everyone. Before I pass it back over to Kami, as it is a Hilo High Viking homecoming tradition, we will now have a virtual lighting of the letters. Stand up, say it with us, and join us for our alma mater. Ready? V.
hope you all enjoyed our first virtual homecoming week. We are all very proud of all the students who chaired and completed the many tasks to ensure that the week was a success. A special thank you to all the students, staff, and alumni who participated in the many activities and made this homecoming week so special. And our appreciation especially to Luke and the k -Bikes tech crew for helping to make our virtual homecoming possible. Hope you all had a great homecoming week.